Hello everyone. JJ here. Back with the second part of how to play solo vs squads. This video will be a collection of me going against squads. Uh, these were all taken from games that I eventually went on to lose. So I thought we could go over them together and I could tell you guys what I'm doing and thinking while I'm in these fights. So here I am dropping in at Kill House. Uh, this was right at the start of the flight path, so I was sure that some squads would be dropping in with me. And I make sure, before I land, that they were indeed dropping in with me. So this person has uh, missed the drop entirely, so I don't give them the chance to collect a weapon. I switched to the PDW because I was more comfortable with the recoil of that weapon as opposed to the recoil on the Type 25. Even though the Type 25 is a stronger weapon. So here what I'm focusing most on is putting my shots on target. Uh, as we discussed before, movement is key but uh, putting our shots on target is the most important thing in a gunfight. So everything that we talked about in the first video still applies here. Uh, the aggressiveness, the hunting for enemies. It's all gonna be the same in squads. Except you just want to add a little something to the gunfights and that is a restraint. I know that might sound a little odd after all the talk about playing more aggressive. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, in solos, uh, you barge in, you kill the guy and that's it. But in squads, uh, you barge in. You kill the guy and you have to deal with three of his buddies. So yeah, uh, I took some damage here and I'm retreating until I get the healing because I hear the last guy moving around on that side. I'm still keeping my ears out for him as I'm healing. And then I come back out and that's it. So in the previous video, we talked about dropping hot and that still applies when you're playing against squads. So if the aerial platform is available and it's in the flight path, uh, be sure to take it. Uh, you want to continue pushing yourself. So be sure to put yourself in a risky situations so that you'll be forced to play at your very best. So like before, I take a, a quick scan of what's around me before I land. So here you want to uh, secure a weapon and keep, keep to the loot boxes so that you'll always have cover. So the thing to keep in mind when dropping in at the platform or any hot drop for that matter is uh, no one will know what's going on. Everyone will be on edge, no one will know who you're with, I mean who is with who, whether you're alone, whether you're squad. So if you keep your head, keep calm, uh, you'll come out on top. So you can see everyone scrambling to get a weapon. So meanwhile uh, I've got my HP up to 150. I've got Plenty of ammo in a good weapon that I can safely use. And now I can go after them. Get a free kill right there. Uh, so this guy does a smart move. Uh, he just jumped off because he was taking shots. And that's what I want you guys to do as well if you are getting overwhelmed. Uh, so what if someone tries to hunt you? So this chopper was chasing after me. So I drove around for a while just to make sure that they were indeed chasing after me. And when I was sure, I jumped off the bike uh, so that they would see it as a challenge. I was trying to draw them to me so I could take them out. The revived flank will arrive in one minute. So here we see one guy jumping out. So uh, when going against squads, always keep in mind the phrase at Air least one. Delivered. So we see one guy jumping out of the chopper. So we think at least one guy jump out of the chopper, maybe more, so that we can always be ready for when someone pops out. So these guys might have thought that they were hunting me, but I want you to guys to always keep the mindset that you are indeed the hunter. So if you're getting hunted, just uno reverse card them and you'll be alright. So I'm switching to my secondary here to conserve ammo. 
So we know that only one guy is going to come out from the chopper. So this guy got knocked before he died, so we know there's still one more enemy around and we can be ready for him. And there you go. Well, well, well. How the turntables... So in this clip, uh, I failed to do a good sweep of the area before I landed and you guys uh, will see how I deal with getting out of a sticky situation. So I take him out and his crew is right behind me, all three of them. So I lay down some suppressive fire and then just run to cover. So here I'm one good shot away from being dead. So I'm I'm going all out, running to cover as I heal. I take no chances there. And I'm back in the fight. So when dealing with poltergeist, always uh, rely on your ears. I saw him darting past, so I let him go. And I decided to engage the guy taking up the rear. So we know one more is still around. So we go back up and try to seek him out or listen to his footsteps. Uh, so you guys can see the difference uh, that having a little restraint has on your gameplay. Uh, you're still going in with the same aggressiveness, but in the gunfights, you need that restraint if you want to survive against squads. Uh, so this squad came in by Chopper, so I'm chasing after them. So I see one guy on the roof. So I'm taking position behind this building. I failed to get onto that roof, but yeah, this this building puts me in a better position. So, so I'm waiting for my grappling hook to cool down. I'm still paying attention to what they're doing. I'm listening to the sounds, and I'm just making sure that no one is trying to sneak sneak up on me until I get the grappling hook. So the drone is coming at me, so I do small burst shots at this guy and knock him. So one important thing to note uh, when going against uh, squads is uh, to take on one enemy at a time. So if you decide to start shooting at one enemy, uh, don't switch to another until you put that one down first. So same as before, uh, I took some shots, so I'm retreating to cover until I can get the heal in. It only takes a couple of seconds, but it literally is the difference between life and death in uh, solo versus squad situations. So we have two down in the squad, so I'm assuming at least one, again, at least one would be up on the roof. So three down, and I can hear the last one on the squad uh, fighting someone inside the building. And that's it for them. So I wanted to talk to you guys about weapons. Uh, so in each update, the stats of all the weapons are switched around. Uh, some get nerfed, some get buffed. But always go with uh, the weapon that feels most comfortable to you. Uh, don't get too hung up on stats because uh, most of it is in muscle memory. Um, a Type 25 might kill someone faster than the 117, but I'm used to the 117's recoil and the kill time, so it feels more familiar to me, so I'm better with it. And if, as we discussed in the earlier video, uh, you push yourself to try different weapons until you get your preferred one, uh, you might find something that you feel even more comfortable with, and then you can switch it out.
Uh, one thing I do recommend is to keep a secondary weapon that uses a different ammo type. Uh, I've been in too many situations where I just wouldn't get any 5.56 from anyone I kill. So keeping a PDW or a Chikom on me as my secondary ensures that I would have a 9mm ammo to fall back on. So this guy was out alone but he was knocked before he died so I'm assuming his squad is around. And sure enough they're coming to get his tags. So I take a better vantage point. So this guy was distracted by a bot and yeah I got a bonus free kill as well. So now let's talk about what not to do in a squad fight. Here we have a squad that's got the tank and I'm on the rooftop. So I used my last adrenaline so yeah let's see what I do here. So this fight could have gone my way easily if I had waited up on that roof but I decided to go after him with only 100 HP and a busted vest and that's what happens. So that's what I mean when I say restraint is key in solo versus squads. So here I'm chasing after a guy with a striker, a shotgun that I'm not very familiar with and it just so happens he was not alone. He jumped uh, right into the middle of his squad, so now I'm outgunned and surrounded. So yeah, that's what I mean, restraint. You still want to play aggressively, but not suicidal. So this last clip is going to be one that I consider to be a perfect squad wipe. I come in aggressively, I immediately take position where I can have cover at any time. I take on one enemy at a time, and I make sure that when I get hit, I retreat and get a heal. So if you guys have been following the instructions on the last video and have been playing your solo games more aggressively, I think it's time to jump into squad game because uh, in the end, the only way to become good at playing solo versus squads is to play solo versus squads. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we post daily Call of Duty mobile videos. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you.